Okay now, we got three matches to get six players two goals each. That will net us six return spheres from the top scorer prize. Sit back and I'll show you how it's done. My starting bracket's gonna be taking on the Sykes first. Then the next two matches climbing up the ladder should be against the beasts and goers. Huh, the chumps of Blitzball. Set up your techniques. The important ones are giving Tat's nap pass. Rop with Wither Tackle. And of course, never forget the sublimely magnificent Jetched Shot Mark III. I'd gotten a good half going leveling people up. That was until they got a lucky shot in. I probably could have rolled with it, but I reset anyways. It's easier to control the outcome when you're out in front instead of playing catch up. I'm only human, you know. Well, until I'm Sin. Second try goes a lot smoother. I start out playing like I'm gonna run with the ball. The opposing AI moves into defensive position, and I take that opportunity to level up Tats. Pass back and forth to him. Try to get the players right on top of each other. You'll lose less time without the animation for passing it across the court. Use nap pass till your HP is around 40 or 60, then do about three more passes. That'll be good to get him enough experience to level up. Once that's taken care of, try to score with Titus and Wedge. Use your defenders like midfielders and draw the other team's defenders out of their positions. See that there? That's my boy. Showing that 18 catch from Nimrock what my signature shot will do. Hey, what's a big idea? Stop shooting! The rest of the half we keep things together, but don't leave with any more goals. Next half, make sure to give Tats invisible shot. You need to use all the cheese to get past Nimrock. Zev probably leveled up as well, so go set his tech. Next half, the first thing will be to get off that invisible shot. Get Tats past the half-court line and give it a go. Just hold that stick to the left and then you've got it. The Sykes now have the ball. Your team has a chance to take back the ball, but here we see them playing some mean tricks to get the goal. Good thing we also play dirty. That's why I'm the best and still in the lead. If we were back in Xanarkind, I'd be tackling three guys right out the sphere and giving a jet shot right to the face of the defenders. Leave that goalie quaking in his boots. We keep pushing up with our defenders and try to give Wedge a chance to score. Go up and pull people out of their defensive positions and do your best to give your forwards a clear shot. Everything goes well and we get Wedge that ideal shot, but no, it's blocked. It looks like we can get him another chance, but that defender's just a hair too close and comes in with a strong tackle. Time's up with a winning score of two to one. Now we have 10 remaining goals to get in the tournament. Now we see the rankings. Watch out for scores that are out of whack. Usually the other teams will be scores of one zero. 
That's what we want to see, but if it's something like five to four that can cause some real trouble for you. The more people scoring, the less likely that two goals are going to be enough for the final prize. You should see only ones on the leaderboard after the first match. Any twos need to be from your players. Next up is the Kilika Beasts. You'll need one team you can straight up dunk on, and for me the beasts are gonna be it. Bring in anyone who needs goals and Shami. We don't have time to level her up, so you need to get her two quick and easy goals, then move on to the next forward. Last thing for Tex is to give Jamal super goalie whenever it becomes available. I have my second unlucky round. This one only got me two goals during a half, but I knew that I can and would need to do a lot better. So I went to reset and take the last autosave. On the second try, things got hot. We get Shami clear of the defender. The midfielder comes in to try and stop us with a weak tackle, but Shami can brush that off to get a good dunk in. You, you can't, can't even, even catch, catch a ball! ball. The beasts don't hold on to the ball for long. We take the ball and drive it forward to give Wedge a clear shot. Whoa! You can't, you can't even, even catch, catch a, a ball. ball! The beasts just can't hold on to the ball. We're not even giving them a chance. We pull off defenders from Shami for another clean goal. That gives her two goals. Let's go! You, you can't, can't even, even catch, catch a, a ball. ball! Sorry, Shami, you're gonna sit on the bench now. Say it again, the beasts quake in their boots and hand over the ball. Wedge makes that shot look easy, going all the way from half court. You, you can't, can't even, even catch, catch a, a ball! ball. Say it again, the beasts quake in their boots and hand over the ball. Rushed for a final shot. Seeing the tackle slip, I realize I should have gone to break through both defenders to have gotten the fifth goal of the half. As the shot stat drops, it's an easy catch before the clock runs out, closing the half. With a great showing there, we have six goals remaining in the tournament. We switch up the team here, taking out the forwards who already have two goals each. Opt to put Zev and Velucha as forwards, with Titus as the midfielder. We want to get as many goals as we can except for one. If you get everyone at two goals before the final match, there will be no one left to score the winning goal. At least not without breaking up your well-fought tie for first place. Now play ball. As always. The beast just can't hold on to the ball. Velucha comes out with a strong tackle, rushes it down the center, and brushes off the defenders to take a shot all within the first 20 seconds. You, you can't, can't even, even catch, catch a, a ball. ball! Easily brings an awesome first goal of the round. Oh my, I've never seen this. The beasts hold on to the ball. Let's get him! <laughs> they don't got what it takes. Told you you couldn't do it. <laughs> Now's the time to keep it steady and push forward. The ball's in Zev's hands and he is ready to brush off the defenders. He gets right up close, but a surprise brawler drags themselves across the map for a tackle. Zev does what Zev does best and brushes it off to get a wide open dunk on the goalie. Let's get him! I told, told you you couldn't, couldn't do, do it. it. Another tackle, and what does it do? The beast just can't hold on to the ball. Doing another run down the center gets a new surprise. Stopped with a strong tackle by the defender running brawler. Let's get him! And you know it. Anytime the beasts get the ball, they hand it over quickly. Now passing it back and forth between defenders, we look to create an opening. And Brawler now takes out the defense, pulling them far out of position, leaving Velucha wide open for a goal. 
Now Tats breaks through the tackle to pass to Volucha for her to take the shot. You can't even catch a ball! We don't need it at this point, but we still go rushing to try and get the last goal in. The clock stops before we can get it, leaving us with three goals in that half. Finishing the match with seven zip. We see the results from that round and... Uh, four nil. That's concerning. It might be salvageable. Just wait for the leaderboard with each player's scores. Well... It's okay. There's no threes to make us reset, and Abus and Bixen are part of the goers. We will play them next, so I just need to shut them out and keep them from scoring. Next match, if the RNG gods F you, you don't take it, we force their hand. We're gonna stop the goers from scoring next match and get three goals won for Zev Tats and Titus. We got this. It's inevitable now. First round. That lucky son of a Bixen. He got a breakaway and took it to the goal, forcing me to reset. Second round, we push our defenders. Zev gets clear and scores. Whoa! In the first minute, my dude. Let's go! You, you can't, can't even, even catch, catch a your ball! ball. Rob gets the ball back and starts pushing it to the goers. I have some fun toying with how weak the forwards are. Eventually, there's a point where only two defenders are on Titus. The perfect scenario for the sublimely magnificent Jetchet Shot Mark III. You can't even catch a ball! Lastly, we have a goal to get with Tats. The sure thing, the big cheese. Volucha pulls off a solid tackle, and we start passing till the ball's in Tats' hands. Rushes to half court and gets the goal all the way from downtown. You can't even catch a ball! Now everyone is tied. You're the champion, and it's only the first half. Make good use of that speed boost from Untitled Project X. Grab the ball and chat with your goalie about how sad all the other teams are. Wait for any straggling defenders to bail and... Let's do the time warp again. There you have it. You finished a half in seconds. Easy peasy. Make sure there is no shenanigans with the match for third place. If some character magically gets three goals and destroys our plans to control the scoreboard, reset to the last autosave and let's do the time warp again. Otherwise, you did it. Pat yourself on the back and count it. One. And two. And three. And four. And five. And six return spheres. Whoa! Now use all those wisely. Why don't you go check out my Final Fantasy X overpowered guide to put these return spheres to good use. Part three and four are where things get good. Plus, you get to jump past all the weak areas of the sphere grid to get some major stat boosts. All without turning your brain off and going zombie mode on some major grind fest. Make sure to like, comment, and why in the world would anyone subscribe? Anyways, uh, never mind, I'm no good at this shill stuff.